In this video I'll explain how to change the fill and border colors of a ggplot2 scatterplot using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's jump into the R code. In this video I will show an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data set appears which is called data and if you click on this data set a new window is opened which is showing the structure of our data set and as you can see our data contains three columns which are called x, y and group and the columns x and y contain numeric values and the column group is a grouping indicator. Now let's assume that we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package. Then we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package. As you can see in lines 7 and 8 of the code, I have installed the package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 8 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geompoint. So in lines 10 to 16 of the code, we can create a ggplot2 scatterplot with default colors. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new plot object is appearing, which is called ggp. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right of RStudio by running line 17 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom right that we have created a scatterplot with six points. And two of these points are shown in red. Two of these points are shown in blue and other two points are shown in green. Now let's assume that we want to change the filling and border colors of these points. Then we can apply the scale fill manual function to change the filling colors. And within the scale fill manual function, we need to specify the values argument and we need to assign to the values argument a vector. And in this vector, we need to specify the three labels of our grouping indicator and to each of these labels we need to specify a custom color. So in lines 20 to 22 I'm using the scale fill manual function to change the filling colors and in lines 23 to 25 I'm applying the scale color manual function to change the borders of our points. And within the scale color manual function, we also need to specify the values argument. So if you run lines 19 to 25 of the code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that our plot is updated. And as you can see, we have changed all the filling and border colors of our points according to the colors that we have specified in lines 20 to 25. So in this video, I have explained how to change the filling and border colors of a ggplot2 scatterplot in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.